All right, NLPT family, I got something a little different for you today. So we've uploaded tons and tons of workouts, um, and we've even got some of the Zooms up there uh, that you can access at any time. Um, and what I've seen lately, and this is pretty cool, is a lot of people are designing their own programs. And that's great, because at No Limit, that's kind of what we, we want you guys to be able to do on your own. We, every, we, we always have a why in everything that we do. Um, there's always a method behind our madness. So if you start to understand those types of things, you can you know, make workouts that fit to not only what you're into, but also your schedule. And that's what I got going on for you guys today. It's called the trigger workout. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, the Paul workout that people have been using, okay? The P stands for plyo or cardio, the A is abs and core, the U is upper body, and the L is lower body. And we're gonna add an S to it, so we're gonna make it Paul's, and we're gonna add a stretch or mobility exercise, okay? So this is called, like I said, it's called a trigger workout. And so if you break a workout down, you know, say like a half hour workout or a 45 minute or even an hour workout, what, what are we saying really? You could say that uh, a half hour workout is basically like six five minute workouts, right? Because that's 30 minutes, right? Or you could say um, an hour workout is six 10 minute workouts. So maybe you don't have time in the day to, to set aside 30 minutes or 45 minutes or 60 minutes to get a full workout done, but maybe you have little pieces throughout the day that you can intersperse mini workouts, okay? And that's basically what a trigger workout is. So if you look at the board, I have it split up into 10 mini workouts, okay? So let's say hypothetically you're waking up every morning at 6 a.m. and you're going to bed at 10 p.m., right? So let's say we get this day started at 6, you're doing your thing, maybe you can get your first mini workout in at 7 a.m. And notice how I have it set, it's PAU, okay? So you're gonna pick a plyo, you pick an ab, and you pick an upper body, something that you enjoy doing, maybe, you know, with equipment that you have or maybe no equipment at all. So maybe a PAU could be jumping jacks, uh, a plank, and then right into some push-ups, okay? You might be able to do like five to 10 reps of each or you know, maybe 10 to 20 seconds, or whatever, and three or four sets. That might take you, you know, five or six minutes, and then you're done, okay? And then at 8.30, like 90 minutes later, now you're at LSP, so we gotta get a lower body, we gotta get a stretch, and we gotta get another plyo cardio. So we just go throughout the day, right? And any time it hits that uh, predetermined time, Right? That's when you do your mini workout. Or you can uh, put a kettlebell uh, you know, in, like, next to your kitchen. Every time you walk to your kitchen, you gotta do a mini workout, something like that. That's why we call it a trigger workout. So if you don't have, you know, say a half hour, 45 minutes, or you know, an hour to, to dedicate to a full workout, but you have little times throughout the day that you can do a mini workout, this is what we call a trigger workout. Give it a try, uh, you know, post them up, let me know how you like it.